So what do you think about Swift planning to launch a new central bank digital currency platform in the next 12 to 24 months? And what I do is we have like a Wells Fargo and like Bank of America out here. But the, 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 average, dollar, the average dollar is going down in value. Let's educate your viewers at home. Because I didn't get up at five o'clock in the morning to just waste my time. If you have four bananas and each is worth five, how much is the complete portfolio value of your fruit stock? Now, imagine there was only $20 in existence. If they print more dollars and now $40 exist in existence to purchase your fruit stock, oh. what would happen to the price of each of your bananas? So when they print more money, when they create more money, the value of Goes the money up. decreases because value is linked to scarcity. Do you remember our first ever conversation where you said, how can I easily get a six pack? And I said, you don't want one easily because they're rare and that's why they have value and everything in life needs to be rare and hard to achieve for it to be valuable in the first place. So the reason the dollar inflates is because they print more money. So the only way to repay all the debt is to print more money. Has it not crossed your mind to work out why you've sold your soul for these little pieces of paper and why anybody else gives a about these particular little pieces of paper has it not crossed your mind to educate yourself about this at all Two different countries have different currencies and how are they all linked to the global reserve currency the dollar uh, why is the dollar the reserve currency of the world i would say like it's like like because like the control is different here than it is in other countries i guess but the truth is the reason the dollar is the safest currency, and you say safe, is because how do you force people to use something they don't want to use? My next question to you is, if we can print unlimited money, and the government prints money all of the time, when they say we're going to make a new $1.2 trillion spending bill, that money, they just print from thin air. So they say, look, we're going to make... A new $1 trillion spending bill, we need to invest in fuck knows what, a bunch of garbage, and we're going to just print a trillion dollars from nowhere, out of a guy's ass, into existence. And then you have to pay it all back in taxes, so the money's created with debt. If they pass a law about fixing the roads, somewhere within the legislation, it talks about giving money to clinics and my goal is for you to have some agency as an individual and to sit and think i should probably learn about these things because there's a very deep rabbit hole and there's lots to understand now i could sit here and educate you for hours or i can try and pique your interest but your next stream if you're looking for topics and i'm sure you are because everyone is bored of you playing with fake balls hey. stupid video games like a hey. what you should do is educate the people at home and look up the gold standard. What I want you to do is to look up the gold standard and to understand the gold standard, the Bretton Woods system, quantitative easing. I want you to understand our current fiscal system. So then we can go into perhaps one of the possible solutions for these things, which is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency and which, you know, it's very convenient for the consumer because if I were to basically want to send you, I don't know, $500,000, I don't have to go through banking. You don't understand why Bitcoin exists or why it's believed to be a safe hedge against inflation. And then that will lead you into CBDCs and how they're gonna use that to control all of us and get to a point where all the money is digitally controlled. So you can't spend it on the things you want unless you are a proponent of the system who are aiding the enslavement of their fellow man, which we all know you will do, because they'll offer you some money and you'll take it like a- Oh, they need to donate billions of dollars. And then you had Oprah Winfrey and The Rock begging, built two billionaires begging the Americans to donate. I say the American government is money- I know what money is, I watch a show called Ozark, but I, I don't understand how they would be doing- I just said my belief, what I believe in. You don't know about money and how it all works. You don't understand why war even happens because you don't understand why the money exists or where it comes from. So every time a video of you appears on Twitter, I have to scroll straight past it because it's you being a jack because if a d like you can understand money. Also, I think it would be quite interesting for the other d home to watch a d plunder his way and plod his way plod through and work out money. And hopefully you'll drag a few people along with you. Because once people at home understand how money works, inflation works, taxes work. If I'm telling people you have it written on the board to be get into Bitcoin and Ethereum. How if I tell my viewers to purchase Bitcoin and Ethereum, is that good or bad in helping society? What you should be doing, however is understanding that 
God's light is truth and knowledge. And sunlight is the best disinfectant and that the demons operate in the dark. So the best thing you should do is not tell your viewers to buy Bitcoin and Ethereum. For now, what you need to do is educate people at home to make their own choices. Now it's time for you to educate people on the system they operate their lives within and how they actually are. I know you get paid 50 million a year to just do all, but the average person stands no chance of getting rich ever. They can't afford groceries. Inflation's rampant. Everything's out of control. They're getting by the tax man. And it's your job to explain to them why this is happening because there's no light without dark. And for people like you, little to get overpaid and people like me, kings of the world to be paid a fair share of a million dollars a week. You said a million a week. When you think that it's very easy to overcome certain addictions, you never clearly had a drug addiction before. So when you're throwing these things at me that I have no idea what they are, I'm being attacked. And I'm telling you that, but you're still making me basically portrayed to be this piece of and sound defeated because I don't know how to stop these things. Jeez. Andrew, if somebody wants to, fuck. Andrew, if somebody, if somebody it. wants but to I make money, they can YouTube. YouTube. I'm sorry, guys, but he's basically portraying this onto me to make me look bad and bring me down with him. It's not okay that I make $50 million. It's not fair that he makes a million a week. It's not fair that people make millions and millions and millions and millions and people can barely struggle to work nine to, work nine to, five, do nine to five jobs. I put a lot of hours in, but there's people that work way harder than me and there's people that have way better contribution to society than me i try to i try to always bless and give back to people that are in need i've been a streamer like this for four years everybody has ego but admitting your admitting where you're wrong admitting what you're misinformed of is is the first step